from what I remember, I stabbed her once. But from the autopsy reports, I stabbed her three times. Everybody used to tell me all my life, you're going to end up just like your mother. And think unconsciously, I've been doing it. I want to get out of here. I want to get somewhere in life. I feel like I'm missing out on a lot of teenage years, things that I'm supposed to be doing instead of sitting in a facility. But can you see the fact that it's the consequences for what you did? They're not going to be like, all right, this little girl killed someone, but she got a cute smile. So let me just let her go home. But this man has That's been locked. Hold on, listen. This man's been locked up for 30 years. He might not get to go home. The girl with the pretty smile might, just because she I has a pretty want, smile. I'm not talking about no going home. I want no. you to see me for the person that I am. They're not looking at your child. They're looking at your cold-blooded murder, which I am not. They're not looking at the ain't a person, the person who cries all the time, you know what I'm saying, the person who got feelings. Person, the real person, me. Mm -hmm. That's not what they're looking at. They're looking at that charge I got on April 29th, 1997, and here it is, April of 1999. I don't care about the time I got. I care about it, but that's not what I'm upset about. You know what I'm saying? They got society seeing me in a different way than I am. All she's saying is everybody around you is going to maybe look at you different because they're not. Being here, it's times where I need my mother, and it's not like I can call her on the phone to get the comfort that I need. I need to be home with my mother. That's probably the most, the hardest part. You know how puppies need to be with their mothers? They need to be right there up under their mothers. That's how I need to be. But I wasn't thinking about that when I was home. She came up behind me and she hit me. And from me being so scared, and from me always holding so much and from this girl, I blanked out. And from what I remember, I stabbed her once. But from the autopsy reports, I stabbed her three times. I didn't think it was that serious. Like, when I was a homicide, they were like, well, if that girl die, you're going to get a murder charge. But if she don't lie, you're going to get attempted murder. I was like, man, what you talking about? If she die, that girl ain't going to die. I ain't even stay with that bitch. Then they told me she died. I couldn't sleep in the room by myself for so long, for probably like a year and a half. Because I thought she was going to get me or something. I went to um, evaluations. And the woman said to me, she said, you're quite happy for a person that just got locked out for a murder charge five months ago. So like, am I supposed to be upset? Am I supposed to beat myself up over it or something like that? I don't know. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 2000, 2001, 2002, 2003, 2004, 2005, 2006, 2007, 2008, 2009, 2010, 2011
That's Natasha, and that's Artenia. My mom's locked up right now. She's locked up again, once again, but she'll be home in a couple months and then be out and dry locked up again. Where will you go when you leave? Uh, well, I don't, never have, leave. I don't have nowhere to go, really, but like a group home and foster home, that's like my only choice, but I'm really, really, really trying not to go there. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, you a part of me. I was four and a half, five years old. My mother got arrested and my grandmother took me and my little sisters. My grandma couldn't handle all of us, so she put us in foster care. My mother, she'll get locked up for drugs because she gets high and um, prostitution. I guess every time I run away, I'll look for her. I love my mother. I, I die for her. I'll do anything for her. So today's visiting day? Yeah. I don't think my grandma's coming. Can you call my grandmother? Please, Mr. Gassi? Cuz, I want her to bring me a chicken box and french fries. And I don't think she's coming. Please. <laughs> Why? I did good today. Today, one day. So can you please call my grandmother? No, we're gonna go down here and sit and watch the families. This is our dining room and our visiting room and our gym room and our recreation room and everything else. That's joy. <laughs> can you please call for me? I have to supervise all this. Well, can I have permission to use the collect phone? Why? She told me she was going to come. It's almost, I can. She ain't home, she ain't home, Mr. Gassi. Hey, she is not home. If that's her, I'm going to cry. Jackson is hope. I swear nobody loves me. Once you get structure in these kids' life, even in the institutions, you get you see positive things with them. And they need it, you know, because you see kids on the streets, a lot of things happen to them. Yeah. This is the sl sleeping area and dormitory area. <laughs> hold up with the banging. Okay, hold up. You're the last one in, and the first one have to go to the bathroom. And they need a place like this. They don't want to be here, but they need it. Okay. For six to eight months, they're safe. On Papa, though, last one in, first one had these bathrooms. And we change them. Some of them go back home and they have their family okay. support, but a lot of them return to neighborhoods okay. where they deteriorate very fast. Hold on, Megan. <laughs> I didn't even know what I was booked for the first time, but I know it was first degree assault, second degree assault. A runaway charge and um, assault with a deadly weapon. I had a box cutter. But I cut her mostly with my rings. I had a lot of rings on. And when I hit her, I hit her and I hit her and I drug down and it cut her face. But I cut her on her arm and I think, I think right here and stuff with the box cutter. I regret so much. I feel like an old woman trapped in a young girl body. Six, seven, eight. I'm tucking in and I swear. Nine, let it come. Shanae's birthday. She'll be 15 years old. If you look at the point sheet on the wall, you'll see that Shanae has ten, over 40 some thousand points. She's like the kid to all of us. She's a part of all of us. So then we can switch the um, so we can switch the um, the tables and stuff. So Oh my goodness, 
I had to crawl out the bed. She oh. stay in the bed all day. She has to be sleep. I should work with your job. Thank you. I'm running back and forth with over the weekend to get you. Well, that's what. That's working. When, when you pick her up, you got to take her head, you got to take her dad, you got to go back and get her, you got to pick up and go there. It hasn't been a day that I haven't been down here with Shanae. And ever since this happened, I've been there with Shanae. Court, visits, this, that. On another note, KK, you know how emotional he can get it. He can get about, teary About Shanae. Yeah. About Shanae. About Boom, Shanae. I never cried in my life. As much as you cried. Into now. this girl. <laughs> never. Because I know what she's going to have to go through. And I know all the things I had to do to get to where I'm at. And when I see her taking that path, is she don't understand. Because you think back. Everything that you did, it's going to show you. You always and say, by law, what, I shouldn't have been living. Yeah, so I but, don't want to see her take the same path. But that's what it's, like. that's what it comes in to show you, the confirmation that what you what do, you do to gonna come back gonna come to back you one time or another. And it comes back, it comes back either in your children or your children's children. You don't know how I be feeling through the week. <laughs> I know how you be feeling. But you gotta keep in mind, Shanae, you were sent here for a reason. For a reason. You're That's doing right. good and everything, but there's a price you had to pay for what you're doing. Ain't, ain't, ain't nobody in the hurry to put you back out there. They gotta know that you ain't gonna be harmful to nobody and ain't nobody gonna be trying to harm you. That is okay. And we your parents and but, we love you and we feel the exact same way too. We didn't want this to just be a, a, a walk in a, you know, a park for you. And it's not. So we want the best outcome for you, but it's just not so much as just get Shanae home, get Shanae home. 
this world is a struggle world. It's it's a struggle here. I mean, you know. That's right, because you could have been in somewhere for life. Yeah. And remember that. But see, I'm not. Yeah, and you you have to remember, okay. Shanice. Your life. Mm -hmm. You you still have a life, and you are going through things, but. She don't Somebody have a life. Don't. don't have a life, Shanae. She don't have a life, that. and you know why? You know what I seriously? What? You know how I seriously felt about her? That was the easiest, she has the easiest part of the whole situation. Not saying that I wish I was dead, but she got the, the person so that goes through that. that That's, That's how, how you feel, person. but she don't got a chance. Miss Lowes! Miss Lowes! Miss Lowes, you're doing a watch. I see her. I don't want to talk to her. She's behind the door. Which means that either she did something or she's faking that she's sick. No! I don't feel good. She was behind the door. She sees. You're faking. You was fine this morning. I know I wasn't. That's what I'm saying. Were you sick? Yes, I just went to the nurse. What's wrong with you, Megan? I got a headache and my stomach hurt. Megan, oh, you're lying. You don't even love me. I love you, but I know you're faking. I swear I don't feel good. I know you're faking. Why? Because I did. Why? Because I faking. know you. I'm not playing. Your shirt all untucked. You was fine this morning. You were sitting in there cussing. That's how I know you wasn't sick. I was not. I came out of there and sat in here. And you were sitting right there, and arguing I moved. with Joy. I moved. That was earlier. I moved, and I sat over here. <laughs> this house is mad at me, and I went in Joy's room, and I wasn't supposed to be in there, and I got in trouble. Every day is something new. I don't go a day without getting in trouble. I can't take this. This is the moon star. Okay, girls, today we'll talk about what it means to be effective. An effective attitude, effective image, what it means to be a good person. So how about this girl I showed you her? I showed the girl earlier. Now, so this is it. So that is what is effective. Now, so this right here is effective. But that may be what is effective to you, not somebody else. Somebody else might look at her like, ugh, but I don't want that. Be the outside of her. Right. Now, how, about, how, about, how about this girl here? Yeah. Do you think she's effective? Well, this guy here, well, well, this guy back here, Mr. Clean, will Mr. Clean give her a date? Probably. Will this guy here take her to dinner? Nah, you don't know what that man like. Fancy dinner. Huh? Nah, I don't do no fancy dinner. Maybe like that one? Maybe. Can't cut the fried chicken? Maybe order in. <laughs> order in. <laughs> <laughs> Now, Mr. Bustav, you told me what type of young woman you think I am. What do you think I wear in the summertime? <laughs> that is what I wear in the summertime. I don't uh, wear uh, punks uh, like uh, that, uh, but uh, that uh, is what I wear uh, in the summertime. I would not believe it if, you, if I met you someplace. See? If I met you someplace, See? I would have said no. I would have said no. See? Now, is he a scum or what? Yeah. Is he a scumbag? Okay, is he a scumbag? You don't want to say it, do you? I don't want to say it. He just come back. He, you know why he not? 
Why? That, I mean, I didn't been in that predicament. I wasn't there for long. I mean, me calling him a scumbag just like calling me a scumbag. Just like no. you call him a scumbag. That makes you one, too. I can't sit here and act like I ain't never been in his situation, did the same thing he do. Let's say his past tense. You feel this? Say your past tense. Not don't anymore. get me the right to judge him because he's still there. You can't judge him. Everybody judge Cause everybody. Because he's still there. It's just like me telling her she wrong for having kids. Is this a bag? No. Yes, Believe it or not, all that stuff I did happened from one April to the next. It started Christmas Eve. My cousin and her friend was playing suicide. It's a game drinking. I was 10. So I wanted to play with him, so I started playing with him. We was drinking Hennessy. The next day is when I lost my virginity, Christmas. And after that, I stopped going to school, and then I started running away. First, it was like I've been away for a day, a couple of hours, or a weekend, just as long enough for my mother be worried so much that I won't have to be in trouble. And then it, it was like addictive. Then she, she found I was pregnant. I was still drinking and smoking, and I don't know what it's called. It's called alcohol fetal syndrome or something like that. If I'd have had the baby, that's what it would have happened or something like that. So she said that's why she didn't want me to have it. And because I was so young. And I was only 11. I don't know what I was doing. I was only 11 years old. Now you shared something with me the other day about the group. Share that with Mr. Parrish. You said that you thought that what you had done. Like I always said that I had to do that. To I didn't do what? really feel as though stab that girl. Okay. Right. I didn't really feel as though I was at fault for it or anything like that. And now I still don't feel as though that was what I meant to do mm -hmm. or that was my intentions, but I could have lived without doing that. <laughs> at one point I was like, well, it's not my fault. Well, how is it not your fault? And then I came to realize it is my fault. I'm very pleased with what Shanae has accomplished. The, the change in her seemed to be more deeper and genuine. Before it was a struggle, go back and forth, back and forth. She couldn't really understand what the concept of remorse was and why should she feel, and she is suffering, and she had reasons why she did what she did. She is really thinking from the victim's point of view more. I was wondering if she's growing, if the family was growing as well, are they gonna be able to cope? That's clinically my concern, I hope I'm wrong. Mom is very caring, very involved and loving. Um, she'll do anything for Shani, and, but I think she's concerned about whether or not she will really follow the rules, and they're not ready for her to come straight home. Wow. There is a fear, because she was a real difficult kid. Mm -hmm. Shane, at this point in the program, what do you think should happen to you now? Mm. <laughs> Big smile. <laughs> what do you think should, should be happening for you now, Shane? Um. I want to go home, <laughs> but I know in some way that probably is not possible. So, um... You got to remember, because of the type of charge you have, the courts and all, they want to move slowly on your case. That somebody with a lesser charge might be able to go straight from here home. You think we all uh, in agreement that the aftercare plan will include step down in a, a facility such as, when I say facility, don't don't think uh, like wax it, uh, a placement such as Florence Crittenton. Yeah. All right. You know, within a week we staff it. We have an put answer. the referrals out. I would say within one to two months we should have yeah. all the answers in us. Okay. My family not ready for me to come on. They, um, everybody basically got the same recommendation that I go to a step down program. That could be good. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> you can do it. You can do it, put your back into it. Did you cry? No. Why not? Cause 
Yes, I'm not going to cry. Remember I told you I don't want her to write me? Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is I love you, booby. That's what she calls me, unfortunately. Dear Megan, hope this finds you doing well. Trina's mom is here with me. She was she was the one who told me to write you. Booby, I didn't think you wanted to hear from me. I know you are mad and disappointed with me, but Booby, I did... But booby, addiction is a disease, and I need to learn how to get well. I know you're very intelligent. Yeah, I know you're a very intelligent young woman, and you are far from stupid. I know you understand. You also know I can do a lot better than I have in the last ten years. Please write if you can. Can I send you some stamps? Let me know. Love your mom. So I wasn't expecting to hear from her. I haven't heard from her in about a year, two years. I wrote her back the same day I got here. I told her, um, I said I wasn't mad at her. Um, I never was mad at her. Oh, I told her about Joy. She, she's funny too. My mother. She's funny? What does that mean? Yeah, well, bisexual too. That's what she calls it, funny. She's like, you're funny just like I am. She hasn't wrote me back yet. But I should be getting a letter soon from her. for me to be here. I don't do nothing but take up a bed. That's it. that I can make things better or right, and I know what I have to do. But I think it's, everybody's telling me all my life, you're gonna end up just like your mother. And I think unconscious, unconsciously, I've been doing it, you know? Sometimes I feel as though it ain't no reason for me to do good, but then I know that I got people at home that I love, it ain't all about me. do something and I felt that I had to leave and they weren't trying to let me go I knew they had a meeting coming up I really didn't care because I felt this was more important what was more important go see my mother she out there doing her thing so I gotta be there for her and if she ever needed anything I get it for her and if she ever wanted anything, I'd get it to her. I don't care. Just, I would do anything for her. I mean, first I didn't want to go to a foster home. But now that I have somebody to go home to, you get what I'm saying? I could go home. At first, my mother was locked up. And my mother's home now, so I want to go with her. Yeah, when I got here, um, the front office said that someone from the office called. Yeah. Okay, man. Right. Two offices. Okay. okay. Right. When we left you the last time, we were talking about trying to locate a facility that was going to take you. Uh, the number one place that we talked about was uh, Florence Crittenden. Mm -hmm. They are willing to give you an interview probably Thursday or Friday. How do you feel about this, Shanae? Honestly. Honestly, be honest. Yeah. Put it out there. Put it out there. Um, I'm sorry. I'm glad that I'm going somewhere soon, but... Yes, I'm sorry. It's not going to do nine months. A typical stay can be nine months. Yeah, it could be six months. Can you hang? As they say, can you hang? No. Yeah. Oh. 
So the good news is that they're leaving. Megan. Yeah. Come on, Megan. Yeah. Why do you have boots on? Sign one for my stuff and my tennis shoes. I'm gonna leave. Uh, you are. Right. Uh, you happy, ain't you? Why you happy? Oh, I see you did your hair today. I ain't think my hair. That's not a hair. <laughs> I didn't do my hair. I see you did your hair. Yeah, you like it? Yeah. Uh -huh. You know what, I, I think it would be nice. Do you want to share what happened Tuesday leading up to Wednesday? Tuesday, I called my grandmother and she told me that my mother was home. And she was like, she messing up again. The next day I woke up and I was like, all right, all right. I'm going home today. So I attempted the AWOL. So where are you staying now? Hi. Where are you now? What's, what's going on with I'm Megan in my now? Room. Nothing. In my room. Have you made any significant contact with anyone, such as your mother? No. Why do you give that look? I mean, I don't know. I'm, I have to ask because I don't know. No, I didn't see her or talk to her. So you haven't had the opportunity to tell your mom about the AWOL? No, but she knows. She knows. I think. I don't know. I don't know if she knows. I don't even know if she knows I'm still here. Here and here. But because... I don't know. Wait a minute. Oh, no, I'm asking because are you saying she doesn't know because she believes that you've gone AWOL or she no, doesn't she know... No, she just don't know, period. Oh, she just don't know anything. Okay, that's what I want. Now, your mother is home. As far as we're concerned, it's a good thing that she's home. And if she's home, will she help with your aftercare plan? See, we no. can't. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> but see. She can't take care of me no, 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 if no, no, I. No. If... Is she home for good? No. What? But she ain't. Why not? Because yeah. I know my mother. Well, you. Well, what do you mean by that? I know my mother. Oh, yeah, but what, I don't. So tell me what you She'll get locked up again soon. Doing what? Whatever she does best. Okay. Look, time for you to be tested. What do you think? I think it's time for me to go because I can't take it no more. I'm going to lose my God for taking mine. So you're not going to lose your mind? Yes, I'm going to lose my mind. I'm going to give you an opportunity to go back out. When? Starting today. <laughs> it's going to take some work on your part, okay? We got a plan for you. How is that? No, Please, no. Now, Miss, you might sit up and change your mind. See, the only, the only problem I have with Hold giving me, you this information me, please, please, is that I me and Mr. Think. Gossie here, and you have a tendency to be very straightforward with Mr. Gossie and I. So, you know, here's your opportunity to let us know something because... I'm ready to go. If you're going to let me go, I'm ready to go. I'll do whatever you okay, want me to do. Yeah. It's not about letting you go. You it's about it. removing you from here. And place me somewhere else. DJJ Foster Home. Okay, what home it is, is a home, and I got to okay. <laughs> It, please, oh my God, my head's spinning. I need an aspirin. <sighs> Megan, <laughs> as a part of your release, we're going to be working with you, Mr. Burris, myself, as far as your school and employment, so we can help you do some things, okay? Mm -hmm. Can and I sign the paper, please? If you violate, well, you'll be uh, probably returned here or somewhere. Are you willing to sign this? Yeah. And maybe. I need an aspirin. No, I'm honestly telling the truth this time. I'm I really sorry, I need I don't have a Can you please take me to the nurse? I think I might die, 
I'm leaving today. For real. This whole Megan, 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 Don't you come back to this place. I ain't coming back. Ever. Ever. Miss Hill, I cannot believe it. You never thought I was going to leave this place, did you? No, you never thought she was going to leave this and place. And I, I really, 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 really... That's why you did what you did. I sure enough did. See how you shouldn't give up? Miss Hill. I'm having this conversation all the time. We've been, you've been we here having this conversation plenty of times. So it's about giving up. Time, anything, everything. I don't care. As long as I'm going out of here. Slow down. I can't. <laughs> Slow down. Come on. Oh my God, this is outside. You've been outside. I've been outside, been outside in a long time, Miss McGaffey. Legally free. I'm free. I'm free. Seatbelt on, young lady. Oh, man. If you want, you can go back, Megan. Let's stop if you want to go back. But no, you want no. to go back. Ouch. Okay. No. I think, um,. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Can I drive? No. What made y'all come to this decision? Well, you were kind of spinning your wheels here. You know, we felt we needed to help you jumpstart, get some better progress. So we're basically taking a gamble that uh, you're going to get your life on the right track. This is Baltimore City. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's gonna really register when I see my mother. When I see her and I'm like, oh all right. I'm I, I, I can do this, you know? Maybe. I don't know. Kicking in. Don't walk the grass, please. Doesn't seem to like me. No, 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 no. Just don't miss. I told you, this lady is different. Hi, my name Hi. is Miss Harris. I'm Megan. Megan? Megan. Megan? Oh, okay. Okay, this is the bathroom. And the washcloth, the towel, the bottom one on the back of the door. Okay. And this will be your room. And you can have this bed right here. So, okay. I got it. Anyway, this is your home now. And we live as a family. And I want to help you to get back in school. We'll see about getting a job. You are, every time you leave here, I'm supposed to know where you are. I want a phone number. Okay. Or whatever. It's, this is my rules. This is the way I like it. I don't want to be calling the police to my house. I think I can manage. And you can manage. Mm. Okay, she's, yeah. oh, she's gonna work out. Yeah. It's gonna work out. Time That's will tell, was. right? <laughs> so, how are you and right. Miss Harris doing? Yeah. I home. think we're just doing fine. Okay, anything else you would like to tell me? Because I talked with her a couple of times, and uh -huh. she has some concerns about you going out, not giving her information about your whereabouts. She mentioned something about a person you met on the street 
to do hair. Oh, Jesus. Let's drop it. I don't want to talk about it. Come on. I want to hear about it. Just a little uh, bit. You don't have to go in detail. You. No, no, she didn't. She didn't. She, all she told me was the fact that you met a young right. well, okay. well, I'm, gonna I'm tell going you. to tell you. Okay. She was like, um, I don't want you hanging around these people because they, they sell drugs and stuff, and she don't want that to a house. And I said, well, they won't come to your house. I go to their house and do their hand. Come on. Her thing was, here you are in a strange neighborhood talking to strangers about doing strangers' hair. Wait a minute. That's not how it came what? up. We, well, 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 let me, let me. Doesn't stop me. Megan, Megan, slow down. How, Listen, how was Miss Harris? Wait, wait a minute. I need, I'm trying to follow you. I, I wasn't going to go do their hair right away. I was going to wait until I got to know them. Wait until you got to know them. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Now, did you tell Miss Harris that? No. If we have to, we can revert back to the court order. And your court order says what? In terms of undesirables or people that I don't know negative. What my court order says. Well, what's said in court for I you not to associate with undesirables, right? When you're in the community? Yes. Would you consider this particular person to be an undesirable? Nope. Why? If I don't consider my mother one, I don't consider him one. Your mother? Yes. What would your mother have to do with. Um, what do your mother has to do with this person, a stranger? No matter, my mother's a stranger too. I don't see her. Only when I go looking for her, I'll find her. She'll pop up around me or something. I miss her all the time. When I'm home, I miss her. Where you at, Vanessa? Where you at? I don't know where I'm going, but... You ain't coming home. You don't need to come home. Megan, they're gonna put me out of the jail. I'm getting evicted from prison, okay? Right. It's my release date thing. You need, you need to do something with yourself. I know. Yeah. I mean, I have, like, nowhere to go. Yes, you do. You could go to a rehab. You could go to... Right. Da, da, da. So you I don't say... I got yesterday so I can no, start writing no. cases. I I don't want to hear it. But you just Megan, don't say you nothing about it. You, you just don't touch it. No, because every time you go into a house, you, you have to pay for rent. I don't have a job. So how am I going to give these people $75 to $80 a week when I first get out and I don't have any money? Where's the money going to come from? I was young when I had Megan. I was 15. And I started using hard drugs. I, I was probably like 17 or 18. And my mother, she had Megan most of the time. I've missed out on a lot with her. And I feel bad about it, but she tells me she's forgiven me, and it's not no big deal, but I know it is. I know it is. Isn't it? Huh? I don't, I don't care what y'all talk. I don't want to hear it. The majority of her life, I was either on the street getting high or incarcerated, and I know she has some feelings about that. She has to. But she will not talk to me about it. See, that's, that's, that's exactly, that's See, why I get mad. Don't expect me to talk to you when you come home and don't speak to me. Don't, don't do that. I, I don't know, know where you was, Megan, like you can't find me. How, how, you write me when you be locked up, you know what I'm saying? You write me. And then all of a sudden the writing stops. 
You write. You know what I'm saying? It's okay if you don't write me. But at least come holler at me. You know what I'm saying? Let me know that you're okay. Um, we got to get to go. This is enough visiting. I'm staying here. Miss Harris lets me stay here because she don't like me and we don't like each other. So she lets me stay here and um, check in with her every once in a while. Megan, I think is gonna move in or something. I don't know what's going on with her. She always beats around the bush. What are you doing, Megan? <laughs> I reckon I stay for a while. It's like, nah. <laughs> <laughs> um. Papa said that was mom. I used to call her Ma back in the day when I was younger. She's like, do not call me that in public. I want to be your mother. Sister, do fine for me. Mm. Me and Miss Harris ain't really get along too well, so I was like, um, well, I'm staying at Rhonda's, and she was like, okay. And I never came back. <laughs> she didn't kick me out, so that was my choice. And you're allowed to just leave because you don't want to be there. That's You're allowed to do that. I guess I am. I got freedom, man. She let me leave and come back when I want well, my to. My point is, are you going to get in trouble for not being there? Mr. Burris knows I'm down there. Mr. Burris knows I'm down here. All he really wants me to do I don't think he really cares where I'm at. I just think he just wants me to go to school and get a job. He care because you're a minor. He you get what I'm saying? No, as long as I'm in a stable place. You get what I'm saying? Well, how does he know that? Because you tell him? <clears throat> yeah. worked on stuff, but I still got things that I need to work on. I might have, I might still have things to work on as, a, as in like talking about my charge and actually understanding what's going on, that might be it. But I think I, think I understand pretty well how serious it is. I understand how serious it is, but it might not be, you know, it might be some other stuff. I understand how sorry to sound. I used to didn't. Mm, I didn't sound right, but at first I didn't understand how sorry it was. And so one day I sat down and I was like, dang, I actually took somebody in life. Cause I'll be like, I'll be, I'll be sitting around and I read the newspaper, I look at the news, and you know the littlest thing can get me crying. And I'll be like, well, I don't see how people can kill people, but then I gotta think about like, you know, what am I here for? Because I know people can kill people without even without thinking, kill kids, babies. And I don't understand people like that. That's why I got to read my psychology books. I just got a new one called Abnormal Psychology. But I don't, I don't know. I think it's something that's in them that's going on inside their head that they, they might not want to be alive. They might not care whether they're alive or not. I think that might be it.
we go. All right. All right. I got lots of questions. Okay, maybe we can start off by you telling me why are you involved with DJJ? Um, me and one of my friends got into a fight and I stabbed her. Okay, what did you stab her with? Uh, a knife, a steak knife. Okay. What happened to your friend? She died. Prior to the incident with your friend, were there any other incidents that you were involved in on the street? Were you involved in fighting? No. Had you ever been arrested before that? No. Okay. Would you agree with what she says so far mm -hmm. in terms of her not being in trouble prior to uh, being arrested? Well, trouble meaning trouble with me. Okay. What kind of trouble? Trouble with not listening, not minding. She would run away. And I would look for and search for and, and that kind of thing. And then I don't know if it was just something between me and her. You know, then she didn't want to live with me. We lived at the projects, and I thought, well, this is not what I want for her because she's my only child. And I thought I was doing something by moving out. Well, she may have been lonely because there's nobody else home but me and her. And I work all the time. So then she picked some friends, and they wasn't good friends. And then it's like when I moved out thinking that I was doing something good into this neighborhood, and then she picked those friends and got with those friends, she just went in a whole nother direction. I went to social service, I went to the courts, I went to a lot of people to try to get help, and I couldn't get no help. Mm -hmm. until what did they tell you? They would tell me they can't take her freedom, she never committed a crime, they can't lock her up. And I didn't want them to lock her up, I just wanted you know, somebody to help me with her. And it was like I couldn't get no help until something did happen. I love her, and I know that she's a good child. She just had a wrong turn. And I want her to learn by that and learn lessons. That's why I'm here for her, for what she done. But I wasn't trying to get her out of it at all. It would be helpful if I speak with her alone, because I have some personal questions I'd like to ask her. Call your mom strict? Yeah, in some ways. Mm -hmm. How old is your mom? 32. I'm looking to make sure that I'm asking you on all the questions that I need to ask you. Okay. Um, have you ever been sexually abused or, or raped? Or? I've been raped. You have? Okay. How many times? Once. Okay. How long ago was that? Um, Okay, how old were you? Eleven. Eleven. Okay, so that was prior to all this happening. Yes. And was the person arrested who raped you? No, because I, I didn't tell my mother until last summer. It was five people. Five people who raped you? I'm sorry to hear that. Um, so were you seen at all by uh, Dr. medical? Dr. Carroll? Oh, uh, no, not medical. Okay, so after you were raped, nobody uh, no, examined I didn't tell you? Anybody. Okay, why was that? Because I thought anybody was going to say it was my fault for me being out there like that, me being with them, and I shouldn't have been with them. I'm really sorry to hear that. Remember, whether you were out there or not, no woman deserves to be raped, and it's not your fault. You understand that? Okay. Oh, I wanted to ask you. If I was to be um, coming here, how soon would I be able to come? How are you? Fine. How'd it go? They said if they um, accept me, they're going to call my PO tomorrow, mm -hmm. and I should be there by Wednesday. Yeah, I Yep. <laughs> you leaving in the morning? Just how you know I like Damn. When you yeah. find out? Earlier. Everything went through? Yep. I took my post test, had my physical, had my goodbye group and everything. Did you? Okay. All right. It's all good. No, you said you going to call you. I'm off tomorrow. Call me on Thursday, all right? And let me know how everything's good. Let's 
Go big. Keep the count in mind. Oh. Always remember, never mad at what you did. It's what you do. Alright. So sad. Leaving everybody. Cause I mean, I've been with them for a long time. I know them. And they know me. Alright. Ready. Are you ready? Yeah. I ain't scared to leave him. Cause I know I don't need a sister. Even though they done brought me a long way. They done taught me a lot. But I don't need to depend on them. I can do okay on my own. Somewhere I started from the bottom and showed my hand, you know, I can do it again. Don't you think me and Megan need family counseling? Yes. Okay. No, we don't. We have a lot of issues, Megan. No. We don't have anything. Do you know how you made me feel the other night when you talked to me the way you did? Do you know what you said to me that night? Yeah, I do. All right, then. You got me because I pulled that black boy up about giving you them ecstasy pills. That's what it was all behind. So now you leave it, right? Where are you going? Don't worry about it. I'm going to Canton. Bye, Megan. I don't see you. I would I'll be at. I found out that Megan was eating these ecstasy pills. You ever heard of it? No. They call it E. Mm -hmm. Well, I approached the boy up on Fayette Street last week about it. Megan got mad at me. They told me I need to mind my motherfucking business, that I'm probably up there trying to cop dope. That's why I was up there. That's not why I was up there. I was up there to give her her Valentine's Day gift. It was on Valentine's Day, right? She's up there smoking weed on the motherfucking street corner. She's, well, she's going to go to jail. And she needs to go to family council with me, and she won't. I said years ago, Vanessa, if you don't stop doing what well, you're I doing, had a drug problem, your Mom. daughter is going to do the I know, same thing. I know this. Thing. I know this is partially my fault, okay? I'm not taking full responsibility. I'm going to take some of it. Just like you don't take full responsibility for the way I turned out. You because take part. I didn't do anything. I might have drank years ago, but that's it. Oh, you never got a beaten. You that's know. not, that's everything not you it. Wanted, you exactly. Got. That's the thing. I got everything I wanted except what I really wanted. I wanted your love. Uh, you had my love. I always love you. I don't like you, but I do love you. 
But you gotta understand, it's a cycle. Your childhood reflected on my childhood. My childhood no. reflects on Megan. Yes, it does. My, yeah, no. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. If you would have had a chance to confront your mother before she died about abandoning you, you would be okay. We would be okay. You never had a chance to do it. I don't understand I know. how she's been out for eight months. When because she got nobody is taking the time to call whoever released Megan to let them know. She's Obviously, the system don't give a fuck about no, her. Don't. Because if they did, they would be on top of where she's at. Yeah, this is my fault because of all my drug use and me running the streets and not caring about her because I had you to take care of her. That's why everything is the way it is. supposed to be. God put me here for a reason. I'm going to find out my reason one day. So I'm going to take it the way it came. I ain't going to change nothing. I would never change anything in my life because this is what was supposed to happen. But anyway. <laughs> when I first got out, I was at Miss Hurst. Then I went to Rhonda <coughs> and Kimmy's. Then I went to Jersey's. Then I went to my father's. Then my cousin's house. When, when, I, came home. From my when I came from my cousin's house, I went to my aunt's house. So eight different houses within eight months. So if somebody came down and they said, you have three wishes, what would they be? Three wishes? <laughs> what wish for? I don't know. It ain't no sense of wishing for anything. You know what I'm saying? It's all here. Not all hooked up like it's supposed to be yet. But if we getting there, we we doing all right for right now, you know what I'm saying? Money, the income. Slowly, the in slowly. Yeah, the income kinda low right now. We ain't doing nothing for real, for real. But we I living think we, are we living all right for real. Jobs. We doing all right for real, cause we did this by ourselves, you feel me? I'm grown now. You know, I'm it's it's over with now. I mean there's a lot of things I need to learn, but now it's time for me to learn them on my own. And my mother got to realize I'm my own person. The time when you were supposed to be my mother and teach me things and show me the way to go, it wasn't happening. It's gone. It's over with. You know what I mean? You passed that. That's gone. It, you can never bring that back. You know what I'm saying? I already know the deal. I know the basic instructions of life. Now you got to learn from your own mistakes. <laughs> I really don't approve of her living in an apartment by herself. She's too young. She, for one, she don't have a job. She don't have no means of income. And the people that she allows hang, to hang in her apartment are, from what I understand, they sell drugs. And the next thing is going to be they're gonna be selling drugs out of Megan's apartment. Hopefully not, but if that happens, they get busted. Megan's going to jail. You know, but you can't tell her 
anything, because she's grown, as she always tells me. I'm grown. That's why I told her when she adjusts her attitude, call me. She hasn't called me, so obviously her attitude hasn't adjusted. I am mad at her, very mad at her, because I'm tired of her talking to me the way she does, you know? Shut the fuck up. Don't tell me what to fucking do. And, you know, you're not, how can you come back after all this time and try to be my mother? You ain't been around for 17 years, which is a lie, because Megan, I mean, I had custody of Megan from the time she was a baby up until I went to prison for four and a half years. That's when everything fell apart. And Megan was like, 90, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90. But she was seven. So yeah, 10 years have gone by and I haven't been there. But not 17. Big day. I'm glad it finally came. Now I'm going home. <laughs> got skipped to the eleventh grade. Think I passed with a either it was a B plus or what? A average. Is your mom coming? Yeah. And you're going to what grade? What grade? Eleven. Okay. I could have went to twelfth grade in January. I don't want to do that. <laughs> I don't, don't want to miss nothing. What do you mean, miss nothing? Like, prom, junior prom, ring dance, and all that stuff. Hi. 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 I like that. What? That one. The bun? Yeah. Oh, thank you. Let's switch in this way to the bun. Thank you. Well, Chanel, you ready? Yeah. <laughs> Are you ready? Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I am ready for Chanel. If the whole world just blew up right now, and it, could only, it was only me and my mother, I'd be all right. Not to say that I don't care about nobody else, but I think that's the only person I just can't do without. You want me to bring the car back? Yeah, well, I can right. It's like a body part, you know? A person is your arm, your leg. Cut your arms off. You can still live without that. Mother like my heart. Heart stop beating. I'm dead. <laughs> okay, okay, let me put this. So what you gonna do today, she Oh, that's bad. Your stomach hurt? You stand there? Mm, that ain't gonna stop you, huh? <laughs> that is, you still gonna be outside in the heat, stomach hurt. We're living with my mother because I'm sick. I got diabetes and some other little medical problems that I can't work. It ain't only my job for me. I've been there five years. So I'm just doing leave of absence until they discover if I'm gonna have surgery or medication gonna be able to help me. We are here. Hello, the bars. <laughs> Here's what we need to look at right now, preparing her for the upcoming school year. The main thing is she's going back to a public school mm -hmm. and she is qualified to do so, very much so. Okay. And that's something she's been talking about for quite some time. Quite some time. <laughs> Congratulations, Shanae.
missing him. It was kind of a trip because I'm just coming home and I'm just getting to start to do things that, you know, I'm doing as a teenager, I'm supposed to be doing as a teenager, and this is the time where you need a mother the most, you know what I'm saying? So I, don't, I try not to just sit around all day and think about it. Even she wouldn't want me to, you know what I'm saying, keep doing I'm not going to say that I forget about it because I don't, but I don't exactly sit there and think about it either. Because there's nothing that I can do by dragging myself down. Because then I'll start dwelling on it and then I'll start thinking about it and I'll be smoking, drinking again, doing all types of stuff, to trying to forget things and everything. I mean, someday I will. Someday I will just sit back and let myself just deal and cope with things. It took me four years to realize that I had actually killed somebody. So it might take me even longer to realize, you know, everything about my mother. My mother, she was supposed to come past my house yesterday. She ain't even come see me. I was mad. It's like, Vanessa, I'm gonna mess you up. Cause I be thinking she get locked up. She was in the hospital the other day. She had an abscess on her arm. She's doing dope because she get that from shoot. She's in God's hands. I can't help her. You know what I mean? I can't deal with her. She's out of my control. I finally got in school, man, but I needed to chill out for a little while and then get used to everything and then I could go do my thing. But I'm back in school. I'm doing all right. Hopefully, I'll get my GED soon. I'm on, I want to see stuff. I want to go somewhere in life. I don't just want to be the same old person around the way all the time now. Why are and Xanax? Why are you taking them? Maybe she wants to get off. I mean, not saying it like that, but maybe she did. I don't like being around her when she's like All right. That. She doesn't want to be around me right now, so it's not a good idea. Why? Because I'm high off of some pills. You want to know why? Because I got to go through this shit every motherfucking day with my father, with you. He's a fucking drunk. You're a fucking dope fiend. And I got to go through this shit. That shit hurts me. Uh -huh. I can't take that fucking shit no more. I can't take that shit. And I'm tired of it. I'm tired of I'm about to say fuck all of y'all, for real. All of y'all. I don't want your money. I don't want shit from y'all. I could do this on my own. And I'm about to say fuck all y'all because I'm tired and I can't handle it. I'm tired. I'm too young to be stressing like this. Oh, I'm too she gonna have young. Heart bullshit. That's bullshit, man. I'm, I got to go through this shit. I got I to gotta look out for you and shit. I got to go find my mother. I got to go find my well, mother. I'm not allowed to come to your house. So what? You shouldn't have fucking messed up. No, I shouldn't have. No, you shouldn't have. You yeah, just want yeah. people to feel fucking sorry for I don't you. Want and then you gonna get this sorry. fucking woman to get you a damn room? Cause I didn't have nowhere to So start. what? Don't and get out, she'll I'm take leaving. you home. She'll take you. She'll take you back. I'd rather she'll not take, be well, well, with bye, you please. if you're gonna act bye. like this. I'ma act like this. Will you please take I'ma me I'ma act off. like this. I'ma act like this. I'm your daughter. I know who you, you are. You know what my father told me yesterday? He wish I was never born. Is that what he said? Yeah, that's what he said. And I, I bet you think the same no, thing, No, I don't right? think the fucking same thing. You think the same thing? No, I don't. don't. Cry, cause it's a pity party. I love you. You know what? I know you love me. And I love you too. But you know what? You slammed that fucking door I had. Don't you ever in your life, ever in your life speak to me again. Ever. Ever. You are no longer my mother. Never. Walk your ass up the fucking hill and get high. But I cannot be strong no more. I can't hold. hold you can't. You I can't, can't hold it. And it's so much did. on my head, yo. My mother, she's fucking killing me. Yo, look at my fucking hands, yo. I gotta go through. Yo, I have issues, yo. I be hearing voices, yo. I'm going crazy. I can't take this shit. I can't take it. Yo, I'ma have a nervous breakdown. I'ma have a heart attack. Okay, and I'ma flip the fuck out. No, because you don't understand how this shit gets me, Trina, man. And I don't fucking see you never in these, like, I can't talk for no motherfucking body, yo. 
When she got clean and shit, I was happy. I didn't put my hopes up there like I usually would because I kind of figured, you know what I'm saying, why I even get myself pumped up just in case this shit might happen. And I don't want to cuss my mother, but she hurts me, you get what I'm saying? And I'm tired of it. I'm not nothing like my mother. Because I want something out of life, she don't. I done fucked up half of my life. I ain't trying to fuck up the whole life. I'm growing up, I guess. Exactly, I'm going to my prom. You know, my mother died right before school started. You know, I still went in and I still did what I had to do, and I didn't use that as a crutch. If I wouldn't have never got locked up, and I'd have still been, you know, out for these last four years or five years, I probably wouldn't have stayed in school. Probably wouldn't be going to my prom the day and out of that. But because I had to sit down, I had to sit down and realize what I was doing. I realized and turned it around. <laughs> you like it? Yeah. It's definitely something you only way to bro. <laughs> <laughs> she was here, how to hold yourself up and not let life get the best of you. Do what you got. <laughs> and don't shortchange yourself. Our child then grew up. Look at her. I don't think life will ever be easy. But I'm a mother with me. Number one and that's why I can go keep pushing and keep going on no matter what. I'm taking back my heart. Love's lost in the dark. Silent bliss. A love like yours. 
How could I miss? I never meant for any of this to happen, but it did. You killed my soul, trampled and scattered. My heart was what mattered, nothing to you. You were cold like the icy blue. Stupid bizarre, they say, to even stay and let you treat me that way. Now as time lingers on, I can see a new dawn. The truth was never really lost. I was just at an emotional pause at once. At one time, everything about you made me smile. Now I flip the script and it is versatile. I always try to tell you there was something you lacked. I know what it is. You took it from me and now I'm taking it back. I'm taking back my heart. Love's lost in the dark. Silent bliss. A love like yours. How could I miss? That's it. But... That's all. <laughs>